Hey guys, so we're doing part two of the guide today. It's just going to go over the more advanced things. Um, if you didn't see part one, I suggest watching that. It goes over the less advanced things, but a lot of important stuff. Uh, so let's get right into it, right? So one of the most important ways you're going to set up your pressure, obviously, is this. you got to be Eddie behind him on the setup. We talked about that in the last video, but I'm going to show you the more advanced setups you can do out of it, right? So you're going to want Sword Oki in a lot of situations, something like this. Um, so this setup I'm doing in particular, you get Eddie behind him, you do pierce, and then punch in between the pierces. Then he hits him with the second hit of the pierce, and it's your turn still, right? So you can do command grab, or you can do low, it is like a really good option. So something like this, and then you can full combo off of it. If you have a bar meter, it's your turn again. You have OP with the sword. So you, you, you get stuff started like that, right? Like, like look, I got OP again. I got the combo because I'm recording, I'm lagging a little bit, but you get the point. Uh, you can go for command grab like this, and then Eddie's back, right? So you can do this for a long time, I'll show you what I mean. So if you set him to block all, look how long the, the string is going to be like. Since you're not using trolls, this is like a super long block string, right? And at any point, you could just throw the command grab in like this. Throw the command grab in at any point, though. Like. And it's so unexpected, right? So. Since it's a low as well, it'll catch them if they try and jump. So it's really good, and you can command grab and you get Eddie back off of it. Uh, you can use a bar meter and then go for the wall break combo. It's just a really good option in my opinion. Um, it's, it's like really long, so if you were to use drills like this, it uses so much Eddie meter up, but if you use pierce, it's just it's better in my opinion. Like You get a longer block string, it builds risk up, and more mix-ups. Alright, so this is going to be like another sword OP situation that I'm going to show you. Um, you you're going to want to have these combos down because it just allows you to get a chance of just like winning the round in 10 seconds. You know what I mean? Like they're at full health and then you get two reads on them like with mix-ups and they die. Also have other options like this. Like that. So look at the damage and then it's another 50-50, right? And then if you hit them again, they're pretty much dead. Like you can kill them off of that. Um, you have options for the overhead as well, something like this. Uh, I have it set to block the overhead, but you would do the overhead. Let me just... Um, I don't know how to set it to block on that overhead hit, but if the overhead hits, you would do the frog after because Eddie's behind him, right? And then you can go straight into the sword, and then you would do this again. So you, you should definitely get used to doing the sword OP if you have the bar meter. It, it's a combo that's going to take a while to get down, but it's insanely useful. Um, I am going to link a Twitter page that shows like all kinds of Zato tech in the description. Go check out his page. He, he literally has everything, right? So like all the stuff I'm showing you, I've learned a lot of it from his page. Okay, so another thing is when you have a pose out, right? It's the same as the, the string off of this, where you do, like, this. It's the same thing with a pose, right? So if you have a pose out, and you do heavy slash because they're near you, it's, it's the same concept, like this, right? And if it counter hits, because you're going to get a lot of counter hits off of it, you know? Um, they're going to be pressing buttons into a pose, and then it's going to counter hit when you hit them. So if it does end up counter hitting, um, this is what it would look like. This is how you can combo off of it. So this is how you would combo off of it. And then once again, you can go into sword open. And then just full combo if it hits, you know? So it's really good. Um, if it does not counter hit, but it just hits in general, and it's not blocked, you would do something like this. So, you're going to want to use a pose a lot. This this just covers like a lot of things. Like, let's say you do this, and then they attack. Um, you can just get the full combo, you know? It just sets up the pressure. Alright, so another option you have out of the sword oki would look something like this. Um, so you have a cross-up off of the sword you can do. This is a little harder to input, uh, but it's not that hard once you get it down. So it looks something like this. You got to move Eddie close to you here. And then you can cross up off of it and get the full combo. So it's a pretty good option if they are blocking the like 50-50 a lot of the time that you're doing. That's a good mix-up you can throw in after. 
Another setup I use a lot when they're in the corner. Um, let's say you get this, uh, here, let me set them to block. So let's say you get the, like the pressure off right here, like you do something like this and you have drills. You can do your forward sla heavy slash and then you can summon a pose while in the air and then you do something like this to get down instantly and dash up grab. You get the full combo out of it and this works a lot more than you would think. So something like this, you can grab them right away. And then you get like the full combo, right? And then you can go into sword. Um, you can break the wall with down down drills. Uh, it's, it's a really good option that is like really tricky to block because they're stuck in block sun for a while and then they just get ran up grabbed, you know? That's a really good option as well. That works almost every time I do it. People don't know the matchup, so it's just a really good option. Look how much damage you get out of it. It's crazy. All right, uh, so like mid screen stuff, right? Like obviously there's going to be gaps in pressure. Uh, you want to kind of read the opponent if they're jumping or staying on the ground, but if they are staying on the ground, like, let's say they're blocking this, you can create pressure by doing things like this. So, you're going to want to try and keep it as gapless as possible, but if they're jumping or jabbing him, you're just going to have to kind of accept that, like, when you don't have Eddie summoned already, there's going to be gaps, and you're going to have to read them. So, like, let's say they jump off of this, you can do this in the frog. This leaves you plus, and now you have some actual gapless pressure, um, because then Eddie's already out, and you have time to run up. So... You do this, and you can apply your pressure how you want. Um, if they're staying on the ground, you can kind of get better options out of it, like something like this. So, like, you can keep it going for a long time. You just got to learn how to control the gaps. Like, if they're jumping, you got to read the jump. If they're staying on the ground, you got to you gotta read that. Some uh, Eddie does have, like, if you do the pierce raw like this, he has gaps. So... You definitely have to be careful, like if you're up close like doing this, they can just jab you out there, they can hit you, you're gonna die, right? Like, uh, if you do this up close, you're gonna get hit, so... <laughs> my best way I would start pressure is if, if you're in range to hit this, even if it's gotta be from a slash, you would want to do it off of that, right? Because this, into the pierce, gives you a guaranteed hit of the first pierce, right? Like, they cannot jab out of that, they cannot jump out of that. Same with this, if you don't have any, this is not jumpable. So this allows you to apply pressure really well. More people are scared to jab out of the pierce when you like start it with that as well because it's a lot harder to jab out of and you're like right there ready to punish them even if they do jab it. So you get a hit after anyways. Um, so you can start everything basically. Like you're within range to command grab off of that. Um, if the command grab misses because they jump, right? Let's say pretend like he jumped there. You can throw Eddie out after, right? So it looked like. You miss your command grab, Eddie comes out and covers you anyways, you know? Uh, they backdash, instead of doing the frog, you would do the, the pierce. So you, you have to learn how to negative edge in these, like, pressure, like in the pressure, like, for example, when I do this, I'm holding my down slash right here. I did down slash, I'm holding the slash button down, and then I do the down down H off of the down slash. I'm holding that as well, and then I press pierce. So it looked like something like this. And then you let him go, and you, you gotta hold the buttons down so Eddie doesn't do the wrong move, you know? People who are respecting you, but you can't really open them up, you can start doing things like this. So let's say they, they're they just blocking everything, but like mid-screen you don't get the mix-up, right? So it's kind of like, well, what do I do to open them up? You can, so like right here, like, you get this. There's not really any mix-ups, right? Um, you're just kind of pushing them to the corner, which is still good. Like, you get them in the corner, but you're not really doing any mix-ups, and then you're out of Eddie meter, right? Uh, if they're respecting it like that, though, you can do something like this. And then you get the mix up from there. You gotta condition your opponent, though. You gotta start reading them in neutral with the, like, if they're jumping, staying on the ground, and that's when you get those chances. So maybe they're jumping, so you can get this off. And then, like, if they're respecting you, you can't do this against someone who mashes. Like, if they're mashing, you gotta take advantage of that. Make sure you don't just go for this and then they mash and then you just get counter hit and destroyed especially against someone like axel he can just throw a button out after your buttons most of the time so you gotta like be really careful so yeah when you're applying pressure and they're respecting it those are like ways you can mix it up but you can also just on summon eddie in these situations as well um so you just you're just applying pressure you know they're respecting it and then you're almost out of meter, so you on summon him, and then he's pushed to the corner, you get Eddie back, and you just gotta be careful not to let him get out for free. So if they jump, you anti-air him, and then they're in the corner and you mix him up. So another way you can get the sword Oki is through a counter hit. Like, like, let's say you block a DP, or like you get a counter hit in neutral. You go into this. 
And then you can go into the sword from there and do the OP, right? Um, I messed it up with the side again. Don't know why I dropped it. Like this. So it's a lot of damage still. Uh, good counter hit combo. Works mid screen, works if you're in the corner from here. 